practice was uh, canceled. canceled today. Oh, Why? You got lots of homework. I have a decent amount. Oh, do you have any tests or anything tomorrow? Uh, science and uh, math. Oh. Science will be a lot easier than math. All right. Well, you know I'm here for you if you need me. Yeah, you'll be quizzing me. Okay. How was school today? It was good. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm gonna do yeah. two this month because we forgot to do an o October issue of, um, or an October episode of Car Foolin. Mm. Ding. Mm. So anyhow, how was your day, Wolfie? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. You can't call me Wolfie until I have the Wolf Thorn shampoo, body wash, and body spray. <laughs> That's how you know when you I have think two it's a little bit too much. No, it's not. That's like a pack of wolves. Yeah, exactly. There's a pack. You know, in the zombie apocalypse quiz, it says, what would be the best pet for you? And one of them is a pack of wolves. I'm like, I am the alpha male. Nothing so can how me. was your day? Did you feel any flow? It was good. Um, I did during P-Fit when I was catching footballs like a boss. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody found their grip. I guess. It's about time. What's that hair? Is that a hair? Oh, it's my secret ingredient. Nothing. Kiss. No. Please? You really just say the hair. Yeah, but it was my secret ingredient. That's what makes it taste so good. Why are you drinking my water? <sighs> you were kind of mean to me this morning. What do you mean? Oh, sassy. I was like, oh, that was a sassy teenager walking out of my car today. Yeah. You think that's possible? Are you no. going to turn into that? Uh, I got a lot of friends who are like, just wait until he goes to high school. James was like, man, I'm so excited. I'm like, oh, about a fancy dinner night? Mm -hmm. Cool. No, on November the 8th, I'm like, what's happening? Wait, 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 wait. November 20th. No, man, can't wait for November 20th. And see, you never told me the date. And I'm like, what's on November 20th? Did you forget your birthday? No, he's like, <laughs> I was like, dude, what's on November 20th? My birthday is the 21st. And he's like, yeah, you was done. Uh, really. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to agree with him. <laughs> so, okay, so you felt some flow mm -hmm. when you were catching footballs in P Fit mm -hmm. because football is like you are sport. I was feeling some flow today, but dude, my day did not start well. This morning I took Oki on a walk, and you see how misty it is today and kind of rainy. And you know how slick our um, sidewalks are in yeah. our neighborhood. Well, we did the loop de loop in the neighborhood. And I was coming down off of the, um, you know, the Matheson cul-de-sac. Yeah. It dips down and then it comes back up before it comes through. Yeah. So I was doing that and I was at the top of that hill. And I swear to God, in my mind, I, I kept thinking, oh, it's kind of wet out today. And the leaves are all over the place. And I just, in my head, I was like, oh, I got to be careful. Sure enough, I got at the top of that thing and slipped like a banana. It was like, whoo! Landed on my hip and rolled like 500 feet because it was steep, you know. Thank God Olki showed some care and like came out <laughs> running to see if I was okay. But I, tomorrow I'd be very surprised if I didn't have a big old bruise on my butt. My butt talks. I was just glad I didn't twist my ankle or something. How's your salmon wrap? Good. Good. Oh, I got an assessment from uh, Coach. Did you see the email? I believe so. Yeah. And then I sent him a reply thanking him for it. He's really got high hopes for you. I hope you got that from the assessment. I mean, he's really breaking down your performance. I told him you were pretty excited about pitching this weekend. Mm -hmm. Did you tell him what you told me? You are like, I think I got a good one, maybe two innings in me, Mom. No. <laughs> Listen, one thing that is your strength is you know yourself 
And if you don't feel confident or you don't feel like, oh, mm, you've got it, then that's it. But let me tell you something. If you're like one, two, three, three up, three down, three up, three down, uh, try and squeeze in a third inning. That'd be great. Because, I mean, even Parker, Michael and Parker both believe that I didn't pitch last year. So I have no skill. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, you didn't tell Michael you were pitching, did you? Okay. Yeah. It'll be better if it's a big surprise. Surprise. That can be a weapon. Illusion. Anything else noteworthy happen at school? No, no, no. Really? really? Same old, same old. Did you think at all about what we were talking about earlier? About, you know, how you're going to act when people oh, say Oh, we are quiz today Ooh. on the amendments. Oh. Muskashi, was it hard? Goal. I'm telling you, if I don't get an A on that, no, an A plus on that, I'm going to be kind of Was it matching? Mm, yeah. I hope you did. It was the easiest matching I've ever made. Cross my fingers for you. There's, I'm watching the cutest K-drama called She Was Pretty. And it's what about... What do you mean by was? Because, here's the thing. You gotta see it. It's so funny because it starts off with these two little kids. Uh, okay, no, it starts off with um, these girls. They're roommates. They're grown, and one of the roommates is kind of, uh, like gorgeous. You know, really cute, mm -hmm. always fashionable, and the other girl is like frizzy hair, no makeup, wears old stuff all the time. You know. But that they've been lifelong friends forever. And um, but the unattractive roommate, when she was younger, she her parents had a nice business and she had everything. And then and she was very cute, very popular, very smart, and all the boys liked her. Then she hit puberty, and it all went downhill. <laughs> Okay, so now fast forward to adulthood. So now they're adults and they're hanging out. Well, she gets this email from this uh, old friend of hers. She turned out to be her first love back when she was cute and pretty, right? A little student. Well, at that time, that kid that was her first love was, um, it's called Chasara. Chasara. Okay? It, uh, he was like the new kid in town at her school and he was really fat he had like curly hair wore giant glasses and so she, nerd. yeah so he was kind of called fatty and stuff like that and bullied but she liked it you know and anyhow because of her he was he, he kind of got through because he didn't have a mom his mom died in a car accident so Anyhow, now they're adults. Well, that kid went to America to study mm -hmm. and then has come back for a job. He is emailing her and he's like, hey, listen, I'm coming back into the country. I'd love to see you again. And she's in her mind thinking, oh, it's my, it's my first love fatty guy, mm -hmm. right? So they say they're gonna meet at this fountain. Well, they get to the fountain and she's like, hey, I'm here. And he's like, hey, I'm here. And they're both looking. And he's looking for like a really cute girl and she's looking for a fatty guy. In fact, she like is like going up to fatty guys that are there by the fountain. Hey, are you so-and-so? And he's like, no, I'm not, dude. Leave me alone, crazy lady. And um, so then she realizes who it is and he turns out to be like this fit K-pop star, all chiseled, kind of good looking guy, right? Uh -huh. Shitty guy, shitty man. Okay, I think I just saw food just fly off your lap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I was wondering how you lost a chicken wing in dad's car the other day. Yeah. Okay, please don't step on like a grape and mash it into my carpet. That's not, I didn't. But anyhow, so she, what she does is she rushes and call, contacts her roommate, the really hot one. And she's like, girl, you need to get over here. And um, I'm in like a serious jam. So she gets her roommate to pretend to be her. Mm. And then she says, tell him that you're leaving tomorrow to go study in Britain or London, you know? And, and she's like, okay. And then she tells him the story and they think it's over, but of course it's a small town and just uh, the drama ensues from there. But it's so cute. There's a guy on there who is part of um, a K-pop group called uh, Super Junior and his name is Che Shiwon. And um, he reminds me so much of you. In fact, I'll show you some pictures of him. But he's a guy at the Ugly Girls workplace. But he's super funny. But I was just thinking, you know, you never know. You never know who's going to be the ugly duckling. And he's going to turn around and turn into a pumpkin. What did you do for lunch today? We had pizza. Pizza? Was it good? Mm. Mm. I can't even believe that. I thought there was no such thing as bad pizza. Oh, no. This I is called like school did pizza. Did you take kindergarten? Do you know how puzzle pieces work? Oh, shoot. Well, I'm worried about this algebra test. Those are puzzle pieces. I hope you said checking your uniform pants and making sure that the ones with the big stains, after you wear them, you kind of pre-treat them before we wash them again. Mm -hmm. The more you wash things with stains in them, the harder it is to get that stain out. Oh, how was men's choir? Are you doing any ensemble practice? Fall concert's coming up in like a month, right? No. It's mm -hmm. this weekend. What? What? Uh-uh. Oh, I know. It's next weekend. Oh, shit. It's next weekend, my bad. This is why somebody needs a calendar. It's next weekend. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, they moved it up a month. Mm -hmm. Is there going to be a fall concert and a Christmas concert, no. or is this just going to be the one shebang? This is the one shebang. Cause, really? Yeah, because Ensemble only has three more practices. Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday. So, then, in a week, I'm going to hear Christmas songs. What's our fall concert? I want to say Christmas songs. Well, there has to be a Christmas concert then. No. Knowing our cast, we can't learn songs that fast. Ensemble might have one, but. Hmm. Why do you think you were catching balls so well today? I don't know. You don't know? I'm really worried, Chase. You've been such a really good kid all your life. I just. Well, there was that little blip at the beginning of seventh grade. But other than that, you've been a really good kid. And I'm just worried that at some point a switch is going to go off and you're going to turn into a sassy teenager who's saying bad words, misogynistic words. So let me be honest with me. Mm -hmm. Did you think at all about what we talked about this morning? What did we talk about this morning? You know, when you hear things <coughs> in the company of other people and you know it feels wrong like something they say feels like oh that's kind of crossing a line right I mean, how you act I mean yeah I probably just just like if you it. could do it all over again that night and I'd be like, yeah. then what would you say I'm like dude okay cut it out. okay so let's say you know what so and so your girlfriend's up I wouldn't be bleeped out, Mom. I'm just bleeping it so that, you know, 
No, because they need to be breathing out a little I don't, more. I don't want to offend anyone. Are, are we really doing this G-rated? Are we doing this PG-rated? Mm -hmm. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Hey, bro. Cut it out, alright? Cut what out, Chase? They're calling someone, so-and-so's girlfriend a beep. What's it to you? Why are you getting involved? Because we're a team, and the team should stand up for each other rather than going against each other. We cannot, w we cannot win the exterior war if we can't even win the interior war. Good. I like it. I like it. Okay. I feel like you're better prepared now, because guess what? I'll bet you'll hear something like that again. Even if it's not about something like that, but if there's something that when you're in the company of people, mixed company, and there are women there or girls, and you hear something that you think is something that you wouldn't want to be said about your mother, your sister cousins, you know, or your future daughter, if you have one, then it's perfectly honorable for you to say, you know what, that's not cool. You know? Because I was thinking, like I said, we were lucky because it was just our team there that night. And so we all know each other and we know we're all like individuals. But if there were other teams there or other coaches and they had heard him say that and then you guys kind of like all went, oh, that's funny. And they would have judged our whole team that way. But just to have one kid come out of the mass and just say, dude, that's not cool. Then you would be telling those people, hey, everybody on that team doesn't think like that. Hmm. At least they've got one good one. You know? Mm -hmm. And it's not a taint on the team. It's not a taint on Coach Vic. And it's not a taint on you. I don't like it. It's weird. I'm like, do you think it, okay, here's, here's my other question. Do you think it's possible for a person, and let's just keep it in middle school, high school. Do you think it's possible for somebody to say misogynistic things, now that we know that word, mm -hmm. Without knowing it? Um, and still be a good person. Maybe. If you have a good defense to back it up, then yeah, I'd probably say Like, what would be a defense for saying something like that? I mean, it depends on what he says. Mm, let's say anything, like whore, slut, bitch. Any of those words. Alright, let's take for instance whore slash slut. If you do that, then you would also have to have, he would have to have proof or evidence that she was going around and let's say high school for this, sleeping with other guys, then yeah, he has, he has a basic right to say that. Plus also the First Amendment defends that. Yeah, but what if it's just his opinion? I mean, how, how do you know? Unless... You get a third. You know, who, and who, who's, uh, whose right is it to decide, oh, well, she just slept with one guy. She sleeps with no guys. Oh, she slept with five guys. And then does the same standard hold for boys? Like, is there a whore for men? Yeah. What, what's that term? I don't know. Point taken. I don't know, Mom. Kabang. This is what I'm saying. <clears throat> Let's go to McDonald's and get some chicken nuggets so I can dip some of that really hot ghost pepper chili sauce on it. Maybe some good dinner right there. Let's go home and have a good home cooked meal. Yeah. We're having pasta and sausage. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Is that going to be good? Dad's always there. He's retired. <laughs> <laughs>
Alright then. Alright then. That's the only thing to do. Alright then. I guess we'll be eating the sausage with ghost pepper chili sauce. Yes. Pro oh, you know what? You should ask Dad because Daddy was like, "What kind of uh, sauce are we putting on the pasta?" And I was just gonna do garlic butter, but if you want to use ghost chili, no, ghost chili pepper on the entire pasta is gonna kill us. You want to do like a little side dish yeah. of, uh, to dip the sausages, maybe? Yeah. That's oh, that's really a great idea. Good. That's a great idea. Because so. you don't know. You're so know, good, you Wolfie. Know. You're okay. so good, Wolfie. All right. No, you can't call me Wolfie again because I don't have the shampoo. So Body you're so foxy? Spray. Are you foxy? No, no, because... Are you trying to do like an Old Spice ad so that maybe they'll send you some freebies? Yes, I am. He's just a boy. Yeah, I'm just saying... Aww. I'm just saying Wolfthorn and Timber are both really good, great Old Spices. And so if I if, if you get timber body wash and spray, then should I call you Woody? No. <laughs> no, it literally says on the wall. If I did, then I could say I have a Woody. No. <laughs> that makes it sound like that thing I found that you call back massager. I don't know what you're talking about. Your purple back massager. It mm -hmm. vibrates and goes like this. Yeah, it really gets those deep, deep knots out. Sometimes when I'm like, you know, editing videos. Oh. No, but it literally says that you can you can not call yourself a user of timber if you don't a, slash a true lumberjack uses timber timber shampoo timber body wash and timber um body spray and it's the same thing with wolf form mm. you cannot call yourself an alpha male if you don't have the wolf form mm. complete wolf form so i'd love to have a complete wolf form so because i'm nearly out of shampoo do you want people to see you coming or to smell you coming smell me coming Okay, wrong. Okay, <laughs> wrong. Have you smelled what the gym, what the guys' locker room smells? No, like? I have not. It's called Brock. But we don't. We don't want to smell that. It's called Brock brings in. A hey. To, to, it's called a <laughs> sports group brings in a totally new can of Axe and sprays the entire thing out. Why doesn't the coach say something? Because they can't smell. It's kind of like how Coach Hunt thought that when Christopher had splashed water on his face and on his body that he thought he was sweating. Did he just like throw his body on him? Coach Hunt literally calls. Oh, I have to also ask you, since it's getting close to that time, who do you want to give Christmas gifts to? Which which no teachers? One. No no teachers? Well, actually, yes, teachers. Okay, Ms. which McCreary teachers? Literally said that Ms. McCreary? Ms. McCreary? Miss McCurry literally said that if you give her <laughs> like 400 bucks, that I'll get a complete hand. Okay, Miss McCreary. Miss McCreary, Miss Scott. Miss Scott. Uh, Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee. Um, is, uh, is that all my teachers? Well, let's think about it. Uh, oh, Mr. Prince? No, no. I'm not going to embarrass one of my teachers. I'll say Mr. Deeds. You'd rather give Mr. Deeds a gift no. instead of Mr. Prince a gift? Why not give them both gifts? They were both my teachers. They were both my teachers. Did you invent a tree that grows money? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's start this again. You got to tell me and the teachers who you want to give gifts to. All right. Mr. Prince, Mr. Dietz, Mr. S Lee, and Miss Scott, Miss McCurdy. Okay, so that's five. Is that everyone? Is there Miss Corey? No. That was the last year. I don't know. I, I feel like there should be more. Yeah, because remember, Miss Scott deals with two of my subjects. Miss Scott. Because see, it's Ms. Lee. Miss McCreary. Yeah, it's Lee. Mr. Lee. Mr. Prince. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Who's he watch? Lee, then it's Scott, then it's Prince. You have seven subjects. Yeah. Two of which I don't count. Well, like which ones? Chorus and b -fit. Would you like to give gifts to those teachers? Yeah, I'll give Mr. Rots one, not Mr. Hunt. Right. He has nothing. He's biased. Oh, what does that mean? As in... He... So, you don't want to give anything to Mr. Coach Hunt? No. Okay, so Mr. Rots. Just... Okay, so then what I'll do is I'll give Coach Hunt's gift to Mr. Deeds. Coach Hunt really is like this. Alright, um... So you don't feel like he gives you anything? Like he doesn't teach you anything? He's not... The things he's taught me... Oh, I look taller than you. What? My yoga. You know what? Since we're not going to, um... Baseball today, let's work on your plank. And let me see how strong... Let me see how strong your chaturanga is. Yeah, look. I am taller than you. You adjusted the seat like a dental chair. I saw that. I mean, Coach Hunt has only like, this is what Coach Hunt does. So um, I'm, like Coach Hunt hasn't even been in our class for like five days now. Oh, what? We've only had subs. What's he and doing? We, we see him. Oh, is it because of football? No, we see him daily, though. Mm. Okay. Michael DeBose is actually wondering. Michael DeBose is actually just seeing if I should go play wrestling. Go do wrestling. Okay. Oh, uh, well, we all and watch Foxcatcher. Hey, but I heard that we get a punch, and so I'm happy about that. Mmm. Like, if I get punched, people, I'm good. Really? How are you so angry? What, what is making you so angry? No, is it, it your relieves, troubled youth? It is it, are you stress. a troubled youth? Yes, I am. No, and it also just relieves stress. Uh, is it because of how you've suffered since you were a child? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I'm getting that. Really? Yeah. Alright, well, let's sign off. Bye-bye.